Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Storchkov SPC to review. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'10", medium, medium work rates, left-footed, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Um, as you guys know, we don't really look at the medium, medium work rates anymore uh, as we did in previous years because medium, medium work rates uh, has been changed in FIFA nowadays. Like it's actually significantly better to work with. So I don't really care about looking at that too much, to be honest with you. Uh, player traits in gaming has the power free kick traits, technical dribbler traits, in-game attributes. This card is going to be formatted uh, to be given an engine chemistry style, right? Because the engine chemistry style will be boosting the card uh, in regards to the dribbling capabilities, which is not yet updated on Footbin, but it's going to be important to give him the acceleration sprint speed boost, as well as increasing his balance on the card, agility, and dribbling, considering the fact that he is a player that is uh, five foot ten with lower dribbling stats. You want him to feel as responsive as possible because, to be honest, his shooting stats, his passing stats, all that stuff is already in a pretty good area, right? So we're going to be experimenting with that in game, obviously, but shooting, like I said earlier, definitely set up in a really good area with the four star weak foot 88 for composure should be pretty decent to work with in game. Now, uh, when it comes to passing capabilities, this card actually has really good passing. So let's say, for instance, you actually wanted to use him in the side positions, uh, in the left-sided areas, preferably because of the fact that he's a left-footed player. You could totally make that work because the medium medium work rate is pretty decent and he at least has an 85 for stamina. You would just have to focus on impro improving his dribbling as much as possible to make him a really good all-rounded card. Uh, dribbling in game we will be experimenting with because... Reactions is the only thing that's going to be on the lower side. Everything else is going to be in a pretty decent area, all things considering. Uh, he's got 81 for heading accuracy, and then for physical capabilities, he also has aggression. So the aggression stat is also going to be a very big thing to look at when it comes to this card too, because guys, I always tell you that the pace with the aggression, they kind of work together in a way when it comes to certain attacking opportunities. So definitely looks like a very interesting card. Uh, we're going to see if we still have the old 4231 here. We do. Nice. Okay, cool. So we'll be using him in the striker position on just stay central, and we will just take it from there. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, maybe I should have gone far post there. It was a good run, though. Ah, uh, white timed. Okay, okay. Coming off of the ball roll as well. Dribbling actually came off pretty nicely there, to be fair. Oh, I wish the touch was more on the inside there so I can get on his right foot. Oh, I'm going to think if I just scored it from the uh, volley there. Okay. We'll take that. Oh, I shouldn't have gone downwards. Bad choice there. Foul? Oh, I was about to say. He is left footed, so I feel like I can actually hit it from here. Oh, he's going to go into the net, eh? Well, regardless. Oh. Good finish. On the right foot there, too. Nice. You know what's funny is that, like, uh, he has a really good run to him, eh? Like, if you, if you get those runs off, like, he'll actually break away. Oh, nice try. Oh, that was going to be a direct one anyways. Nice try. Nice try. That skill move didn't come off too slow either. It came off nicely. I let go of the thumbstick a little bit too early there. Oh, 
Oh, nice try. You know what? In situations like that, when I have more space, I should just go for the L1, R1, like the power strike. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Gotta hit those greens, man, for the consistency. Ah, oh, he did a, a fancy shot. <laughs> I like the way he hits the finesse shots. It's the bend of the body ones, you know? Like, those are really good. On a red, too. On a red, I still score. Cool. I'll take it. Oh, there's no way I don't score that to the near post. Oh, man. Couldn't get the ball roll off in time there. No. Nah. It's hard to get the timing on that green for those like quick dribbles afterwards. See, I told you, he actually takes like really good finesse shot animations. If I had more shooting capabilities there, right, with his shooting stats, maybe I scored it on a green. That's just a uh, FIFA mechanic. I got to do the ball roll before the driven for the consistency. Oh, if he didn't get that touch off, I would have been good. Did, 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 did I just, did me and you guys just see the same thing? Was he not glitching across the pitch there? What was that? I actually almost got to that, eh? Wow. Yeah, too close. Have to do a heel to heel against the goalie there. Oh, that scoop was actually super fast. Unlucky. He's offside, but I just wanted to test out that strike from there. Nice, good strike. I try my best to get it on the green, but once it's coming off of the drag back, it's going to be less consistent, you know? <laughs> nice. Caught him on the double Burba spin. The Burba Tov. Good finish. I wait for him to get off that AI stuff, you know? Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Stoichkov SBC. So uh, to be honest with you guys, this guy is actually pretty cool to work with in-game. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, with him being a medium medium work rated left footed player there's so many different ways you can line up this car on your team so one you can make him your attacking oriented center mid if you guys still play that way with your three midfielders um you can use him as your left attacking mid your left mid your left striker in a two striker formation you could totally use him in a lone striker role I wouldn't necessarily fully recommend it. There are other players when it comes to attacking AI that I prefer more, obviously. But this is definitely a card that you want to keep as much as possible 
on the left side to be able to utilize his left foot. What's really nice about this card, guys, is that with him being a left winger and also offering you different position changes in striker, right wing, and left mid, that's fantastic to work with because there's going to be so many different options you can work with for a card that already gets the chemistry links by himself, right? Uh, I felt like when it comes to the in-game capabilities of the card, when it came to stats, shooting, I, like I said, I always tell you guys, you got to green time your shots as much as possible. But even when I didn't green them and he was facing angles that were, you know, harder to score, he still did a pretty decent job at scoring them regardless. Even if I didn't necessarily green them and I white time them, I even scored one red time shot and he still did a really good job. Why? Because it's all in the 90s area when it comes to shooting. The passing came out fine. The only thing that I would say that you notice from time to time, obviously, is going to be his body type working with the dribbling sometimes, right? So obviously with the base card set set up the way that it is in agility, balance, and dribbling, you're going to notice that sometimes. But there's also moments in game where he does a really good sharp dribble, which I don't know, maybe the technical dribbler helps with like the actual animation choices that the player does because there's moments where he does those really good sharp touches that you notice a lot but obviously when you're doing like regular left stick touches against the defenders sometimes so he's kind of he's going to be like outbodied and stuff because obviously in Stoichkov's uh, case uh you could see that he has an average body type right so with the average body type it's always gonna be something that you notice uh regardless right so uh, it's one of those types of spcs that again is going to be out for uh, an entire month. So it's a card that you can slowly grind towards depending on the type of content that EA are going to be releasing. Um, with this card, if you're a fan of his in real life, then it's going to be a card that you should obviously get. Uh, but if you can slowly build towards getting this card, to be honest with you guys, he's pretty decent in game. The only main things that I feel like you're going to work with, right, is obviously going to be the average body type when it comes to responsive dribbling sometimes because of the base card stats that he's working with, regardless of the engine chemistry style. Uh, and obviously, it's going to be, I would, like I said, I don't necessarily recommend them as a lone striker. You could totally do it 100%, but in a two-striker formation, that's where you're going to work the magic a little bit more, right? So, to be honest with you guys, I like the card a lot. I thought he performed really well. The skill moves came off great. He didn't feel super, super heavy at times, so... I liked him. I, I thought he actually performed really well in game. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.